Hi, my name is Besime Janik and I'm the CEO of Ayan Game Design. And I'm also a game designer for the upcoming game Pax Shamaram about the um, queen in the Assyrian Empire. And this is my colleague. Jung Manke, lead game designer at Iron Game Design. Uh, and of course I also designed games, for example Pax Viking, about the Eastern Germans or Vikings coming up uh, in just a month to the stores. Uh, but today we're going to talk about something else. Yes, we're going to talk about the upcoming game Dawn on Titan. And we're going to do kind of an unboxing of our prototype. Which we have here. Uh, and to show what, how, what, what the different components are in this special prototype version. And how they look right now. So let's start looking at the prototype. Again, it's, I want to mention that is, this is a prototype made in our office here at Iron Game Design. So the end product will of course look much better. Uh, so this game is about uh, Saturn and its moon around, around it. Uh, and Titan is the biggest moon around Saturn. And this is our game board. The designer for the game is Björn Ekenberg. And the artist is Madeleine Fjell. So, and it's beautiful as you see the bo uh, board here. Uh, do you want to say anything about the board? No, well, it's uh, it's also described uh, little icons here how to move. So if you're to use this prototype at some point, this will help you to understand how you move when you're in different directions with your ships, yellow, uh, gold or, or silver. And that's about, uh, and then the moons in themselves are gold or silver because they're orbiting in different directions around mm. Saturn. So that's one, one important mechanic of the game. I think the board is really beautiful, yeah. even in the prototype version. Yeah, I agree. So that's the board, and it will be two-folded as uh, four-folded. Yeah, in, in, in the final game there will be a double fold, so it will be a quarter of the size. And this is the player boards, uh, and these players are different corporations flying out to Saturn to get resources. So here is the resources uh, that you're going to collect in your journeys. Uh, again, there is four player and this game is for one to four players. One to four players, yes. There are solo rules and you can play two, three and four players. And there, here are the rockets uh, that you will build by putting um, resources on these spots. Uh, and the rockets have, uh, as I mentioned before, here is a golden side, and here is a, a silver side. Uh, so that's how you. That's one thing you do on the board. And there's a little player aid to tell you what your actions can do. And uh, the factories, which is no sorry, the industries, which is the basic, like win condition of the game, is here. And there you place. Um, place the different factories uh, to show. Uh, that they are not built yet and then you populate the board while with with your actions and the first one to to get all the factory their industries out wins i'm gonna so the ships will be prototypes as you mentioned it's silver and it's gold yeah uh our prototypes this is this is prototypes but it will be punch outs in the first version the same goes for the different resources but for the prototype, we're just using um, wooden cubes or wooden components. Yeah. And, then and what do we have more? Each player has a set of cards. Yes. Uh, which is for battling. Uh, so there are upgraded cards with these uh, arrows on them. Um, and there are non-upgraded cards, uh, which are the same with no arrow. Um, and then there are the special action cards, which are about things you do on the surface of plants. It's security and industry action. So battle cards. There we go. And we, I remember we didn't show. So this one is life, I believe. Uh, the cubes are alloys, right? Yep. In this prototype, the, the um, diamonds are small gems. And uh, uh, the helium extractors are 
like poems, like that one, mm -hmm. or the red one, for example. So look like this. But these are just to be taken from other games for for the prototyping purpose. But this is how it will look. So this is looks really good. And maybe we should put the board back to show the last thing in the in the in a game and the prototype are things that go on the board, which are planets. I mean moons and moonlets, um, which are small moons. And uh, we fold this up again. This is where you're traveling there we to. Go. And here you have moons. The golden ones go into this orbit, which is called the main orbit. Uh, the silvery one goes into this orbit, which is called the north orbit, because the moons in that orbit of Saturn are called the north moons. And then you have a place, one or two, depending on how many players you are, for helium extraction in the clouds. Um, and then the moonlets are these small things. You can kind of see where they're supposed to be, but it's nicely integrated in the art. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's for, for setup purposes, you place them on these ones. And these lightning bolts is an effect that can some of the moonlets can uh, generate lightning effects, which could be both and, good and bad for you. And the same here, uh, the first version of the game, you have punch outs. Uh, it might later be wooden components. All right. Great. And that's so it, that, I think. Yeah, and the moons have two sides. Yeah, that's You want to say, say that. a, a, a couple of words about that? Sure. Yeah. So when you when you explore the moon, you flip it, and on the other side you can see what kind of industries you can build on it. On this particular one, you can build life labs or diamond mines, uh, and that's the same for all these moons. On the moonlets you sometimes find, if you flip the moonlet, you can find uh, icons, uh, but that's just a one-time thing where you get the bunch of, uh, in that case, alloys. In this case you would generate uh, a flash uh, or, or electric current. And then you have uh, something like this one, which is, uh, well there was another electric current. And this one, for example, if you were to flip that, that's a silver moonlet, so it would go out here. If that's flipped, you get diamonds. But then they are discarded out of the game. And it's mentioned in the, it's named something special in the game when you flip it over. Explore. Explore. Yeah. yeah. And there's also, this is Calypso. So all these moons are actual moons. Mm -hmm. uh, here is Mimas. Uh, and they, they are the, the moons of Saturn, so to speak. He is, uh, they all have names, you can see down there. And, um, and when you build on them, you would build, uh, for example, the diamond uh, factory. You place your factory from your player board to the moon. Cool. And the cards, you maybe we didn't say that, the cards you use for combat. Sorry for doing that. <laughs> so, uh, let's say which kind of resources we have. You've been mentioning them already. Yeah, so we have Life Lab, uh, Diamond Mine, Alloy, and... Uh, um, Helium, helium three. Yeah, so that's the and there will be punch outs for these uh, resources as well, right? Yeah, and that's the ones that we had here. Yeah, cool. That's it, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, uh, and this game I'm mentioning again, one to four players, so there will be a solo version, and also. Um, it's a game for the whole family, I would say. Yeah, it's. Uh, we think that 10 years and up easily can play the game. And it's play playable in 30 to 60 minutes. Mm. But still has, you know, all the elements you want in a 4X game. Uh, but in a simplified manner. And learning a little bit about Saturn in a fun way as well. As so, well, yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, and here are the resources. It's going to... So these are yeah. like the money of the game. Yeah. So the diamonds here and alloy, helium should be one more. Uh, yeah. So if you have, for example, a a diamond, um, let's see, now there's a the green one. Yeah. So we have a diamond factory somewhere out on the moon. Um, uh, then that moon can produce diamond resources for you. Uh, and then you get diamond resources that you can put here on these ship markers. 
and then when you have enough of them uh, you can re re change that for exchange the things you have there and take one of the ships and put it out somewhere where you have a factory mm -hmm. and this will be punch outs as well yeah exactly yep okay good okay that was a look at our prototype again this is a prototype made in our office here at iron game design and uh, it's uh, being used by a few uh, reviewers and it, and uh, for playtesting of course uh, and it's also something to show for the kickstarter that's coming up very soon as we speak it's probably might be going if you're seeing when you're watching this uh, and again Dono titan designed by bjorn ekenberg and art by madeleine fjell so thank you very much and bye bye or hey do <laughs> hey do <laughs>